today nine finish. Congratulations. But you need to know that that number was almost eight instead of nine. About six months into the program, after an extremely difficult residency, I drove the three hours home, crying the entire time, and I wondered what I had gotten myself into. Why did I need this stress in my life? I, I, <laughs> I went home and I withdrew from nonprofit management that day. All my life I had invested in others, my employer, my church, my children, my family and friends, but for some reason the investment in myself seemed entirely too hard to do. I reached out to my cohort and I told them what I had decided and what I felt and that I had withdrawn from the program. Telling them that was excruciatingly painful for me. I felt failure. But as I stand before you today, I am stronger because of the words in the council that came back to me and that was, get back in the boat and keep rowing. <laughs> and so I did. I needed to believe that I was worth the investment my mom talked about so much. I saw her invest in others, but not herself. I needed to believe that the investment in myself may be more than I was before, and it made me able to give more than I've ever given before. Two years ago, we wrote a covenant to each other, promising to work together to learn to develop. We promised to give constructive critique. We promised to engage and challenge and appreciate, to be a resource and be generous with our time, experiences and knowledge, and above all, we promised to respect to accept and celebrate what we all brought to the table. The covenant of cohort 42 has been tested, and in these two years it is stronger than it ever was as we met at virtual strangers and didn't even know why we were doing this or why we would need it. The covenant now is a living promise of support, encouragement, engagement. There are few places in my <coughs> life where a brief connection of an email or text can trigger a response that comes back poignant and appropriate and just what I need from somebody going through the same challenges or the same victories as me. In 2012 we chanted we are cohort 42 <laughs> and on this day we graduate and we smile, lots of hugs, a few tears. Today we exhale, we are cohort 42. But today the journey doesn't end. As all graduation speeches usually bring out, this is just the beginning. Jesus inv invested in ordinary people like us, but they were chosen for extraordinary purposes. He chose fishermen, accountants, laborers, and workers, and in those ordinary people, he found larger-than-life personalities, tender hearts, childlike humility, and he called his disciples the sons of thunder. In those ordinary people, there were one common theme, they were willing to follow, and then they were willing to go. With education, there is obligation. We are obligated to take now what we know and go further than we ever thought we could. We have the obligation to be leaders, to bring new transparency and integrity to our work, and an obligation to be a strong voice for those in need. Today is not the end. Today is the beginning of what's next. God bless you all, and thank you for being my cohort. Thank you.